Welcome back, my friends, to my blind nuzlocke of the Indigo Disc. I'm not really sure where to go from here, just based on the trajectory of my dead team. So in the last episode, you guys saw me get wrecked pretty hard by Crispin. Now it's time for the next biome. I think, I think it's good that I start off here. I go here next. So this is the canyon biome. Um, I've got a few encounters I need to get, and I've got a lot of trainers I'm going to battle. I don't know if I'm going to include all of the trainers or not. Last time it took me quite a while. I'll do 10 trainers, and then I'll do the Elite Four. So I guess let's start by me taking a tally of Pokemon, and I'll let you know where we go from there. All right, so I've got an idea here. Um, I have one more encounter to make it three encounters even in the canyon biome, just like I did in the savannah. So I'm thinking, let's go with the first Gen 9 exclusive Pokemon that I find. I will cut straight to whenever I find one, but the first Gen 9 Pokemon that I find, that is the encounter. Here we go. All right, so uh, the Gen 9 thing failed. Literally, I can't find a Gen 9 Pokemon in this biome. If there is one, I'm going to have to go down into the water or something like that. I have a better idea, or at least an alternative idea. I've decided that I will change it to the first Gen 5 Pokemon I see. That will be the Pokemon that I catch. In honor of the fact that I will start Pokemon Black here soon, and I am in Unova right now, I say we're going for Gen 5. Here we go. The very first one I see. Uh, which took all of about three and a half feet. <laughs> Honestly, I guess that's why I said, you know what? Let's do, uh, let's do Gen 5 because it literally took me two seconds. So I'm good with this. Um, Drillber will turn into an amazing Excadrill, and that is going to be something that's going to benefit my team immensely. So obviously I'm a little low on Pokemon. Um, I was debating going with four Pokemon per area. And I think that that's probably where I'm going to go based on the fact that it would appear that the Elite Four is no joke. I lost three Pokemon, although one may have been to my own ignorance. Actually, maybe two. Two were to my own ignorance. In fact, two of them were definitely to my own ignorance. Um, in that battle, had I have used instead of Brick Break... Alright, so... Here we go. If I had used Close Combat instead of using uh, Brick Break, then I, I'm i pretty sure I would have taken out Blaziken. I would have been, fi or I would have been fine up to Blaziken. Everything would have been okay, I, I think. I'm, I guess I'm not 100% sure because I'd have to go back and look through the battle. But certainly I lost one that was needlessly lost, and that was Executor. I have not yet heard back what we're going to decide on Crab Rawler, the shiny Crab Rawler that I found it was found outside of Blueberry Academy, so technically it's outside the realm of the Nuzlocke. However, it happened during the Nuzlocke. So my question that I posed on YouTube is simply, does it count? When I get an answer to that, we will go ahead and use those. All right, nickname for Drillber. I think this is appropriate, but I've decided to call it May. The reason, well, it's not much of a reference, but it's a stretch of the imagination. Um... I named it after May from Avatar The Last Airbender, who was on board the drill during the episode, The Drill. All right, so uh, how I want to do this is I will do 10 battles. I will talk my, through it, talk my way through all 10 of the battles. I'll leave whatever ones are most impressive, and I guess I'll go for the Elite Four, too. I, you know what? This whole episode, I think I'll do Elite Four as well. All right, so we got 10 battles leading up to it. Let's do it. All right, this guy seems like an appropriate battle for the very first trainer. What do we got? You want a battle? Dot, dot, dot. What do you think you are, Red? Oh, you know what? I, uh, Wayne, the student. I was going to say, okay, I don't know how to identify the league club trainers, those elite ones. Gothitelle and Poltegeist. Dude, all right, well, uh, this is suddenly fairly difficult. All right, let's go. Uh, uh, do I want to stay in with you? Yeah, you know what? Let's go with that. And then for you, um, I almost want to change your move set up, but for now, let's. Uh, you you have three Pokemon. Let's go Rain Dance. Set it up. I'll set it up, and then uh, there we go. I was gonna say I'll deal a decent amount of damage. Here's a Rain Dance. That's gonna help me if uh, hopefully they try to go for some status effect on me. That'd be hilarious. Ooh, Pulte guys, dropping that. That sucks for me. Wow. I, I'm actually genuinely impressed that he did that. 
you used my citrus berry. I really don't have too many of those citrus berries. I would prefer you not have to do that. Um, yeah, this is, oh my god. You know what? He, he, she could have gone for Dugong. I don't know why she didn't. That Gothitelle literally targeted the wrong Pokemon. I don't know why. That could have been a Giga Drain and Thunderbolt on Ouroboros. I would be dead. <laughs> End of story. Done. Everything is said and done. I'd be dead. So at least take out the Poltegeist. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll keep some of the impressive battles in here anyways. There's some of that. Uh oh Speaking of Giga Drain, Thunderbolt, I think this could be the end right here. No, Shadow Ball. Goes for Shadow Ball. Hitting with the super effective. <gasps> Yikes. Whoa. Whoa. That was very, very close. All right. So I, I'm I'm getting <laughs> getting a little luckier than here than or getting luckier here than I should. I, I don't know why I stayed in with raven but you know what we're gonna stick with it don't miss your aqua tails all right that's my only healing item or no i get two against trainers i get two healing items against trainers so that was a lucky blow that was an extremely lucky blow dude it, it, this is really strange to me how i mean i guess we're getting i get it right we're not in paldea so seeing a a pokemon from paldea here would be well, it'd be no different than seeing one right now that doesn't belong here. Oh my god, go lurk. You look good in the rain, man. You look really good in the rain. So I'm going to use Moonblast and Aqua Tail on go lurk because I want go, go lurk dead, and it seems like maybe he's stuck on this idea of using Mirror Coat on the Gothitelle. Thank you for hitting. I was going to say, I don't want to see go lurk use Thunderbolt or Thunder. I think he can learn those two. Like I say, I'm not 100% familiar with all the... You have Thunderbolt still, but you're using it on the wrong Pokemon, so I don't know why you continue to do that, but I think what I'm going to do is possibly switch out. I, I can't decide, actually. Uh, let's go... You know what? Let's just attack Moonblast and Aqua Tail. I outspeed, so... Let's hit you as hard as I can. That was a crit. As long as you don't miss, I was going to say miss and Raven dies, but we're good. So that was a foolish mistake. You know what? It's after work. I haven't really stretched my mind out yet to to feel my way through strategic battling so hmm, guess i lost huh yeah this is the the first battle so you know what i just gotta i gotta loosen up here i gotta remember how to battle that's all i got into this like oh just you know what relax and and battle and it's like no 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 loosen up and think through my moves i will see you at the next trainer how romantic all right what you got Welcome to trainer number two. Don't you think there's something incredibly romantic about the giant rocks floating in here? I have noticed rocks and they are gravitating. This is true. She has really nice hair. Ramona of the League Club. Okay, we're doing this. It's about to go down, dude. This is, it's, it's getting real. Here we go. Hitmon Lee and Hitmon Top, huh? And three Pokemon. So that last one is 100% Hitmon Chan. All right, well, I have optimized my Pokemon a little bit more, so I think here's what I do. You're weak to fighting, and they're weak to you. So let's go let's go Psychic on Hitmonlee and Bullet Punch on Hitmonlee, and let's just take him out, like, preemptive strike attack. You use Bullet Punch, too. Don't kill. Oh, okay. Okay, whoa, whoa. Easy does it. I'm okay. Alright, that was a good hit. You're toast. You're done. Alright, so Hitmonchan comes out next. Hitmonchan worries me because Hitmonchan has literally, like, always has fire... Or it can, anyways. Have Fire Punch, Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, and, I guess, Dynamic Punch. Um, it can definitely have Fire Punch, though. Scrafty! Alright, you tricked me, and that's great because you don't have Fire Punch. Unless you do, I uh, bait them for the protect and bottoms up. I guess let's uh, let's find out what's going to happen here. Go Iron Head on. I'm not going to outspeed you if you're using Bullet Punch. Outspeed you. Maybe this King's Rock will actually get the flinch. Are you going for Gardevoir? I I don't know who you'd go for. Bullet Punch. Nice. Okay. Protected. Nice. Let's see what you got, Scrafty. First off, do I outspeed you? Yes, I do. And then, what were you going to go for? You flinched, so I don't have to worry about it. Um, now the question is, 
what do I do from here? I could technically double protect if I wanted to, but I think the best thing to do here is switch out to Typhon and attack with Iron Head again. Let's see if I can get that flinch. The King's Rock flinch, dude. I can't believe I got it that first time. Unfortunately, you may have been attacking Gardevoir, and I don't know if you were, but if you were, then that flinch was useless. Bullet Punch to do absolutely nothing. Scrafty, this is where it comes down to. What are you going to do? Iron Head hits you. It, I wish it did more. I really do. You had a Citrus Berry because you're a freaking League Battler, dude. Nice. All right. I. You know what? That was good. That was a good move. But you flinch again. I sure wish I had something. Because if you... Oh, man. He can, he can one-shot you. There's no way he's not going to one-shot you. So now the question is, who does he attack? And... Hmm. Boy, th this is not good. If I if I stay in, I'm going to die. There's no way I don't die. So I guess switch to Cosmic Void, who has that Focus Sash. And let's go for another Iron Head. And I guess cross my fingers that I hope for a triple flinch. I definitely don't think I'm going to get that triple flinch, but who knows? Maybe. I mean, I got that double protect on the last recording, so who knows? Maybe I can do this. Scrafty. Mock Punch. Uh, oh, that did not... <laughs> I thought that would do a little more than that, man. You're kind of... I mean, I'm a flying type, so yeah, I guess I neutralized out the uh, the rock problem here, but... And uses Crunch on Caesar. Okay. All right, so we've got an interesting scenario now. Um, who do they attack? You know what? I think... I think I use a healing item, and I do it on Minior, and then for you, because he's going to go for Bullet Punch. Let's go for... If he goes for Bullet Punch, do it now. Let's go for Iron Head. Take out the Scrafty. I was going to say, I don't know. If Hitmontop goes for Bullet Punch, and I go for Bullet Punch, do you think I have the priority over him? He does go for Bullet Punch, and I'm okay. Hitmontop keeps losing a lot of HP doing that, though, because he's got a uh, life orb on him. That's why it's hitting so freaking hard. So I took out Scrafty, which is amazing. So now the question is, I have shields down. So, I mean, so far, so good. Um, I'm not going to risk. So he's got that bullet punch, and I have one more healing item. So I use my final healing item to heal up Iron Head on Hitmontop, and then... If he lives this Iron Head, what I will do is I will bullet punch him. He'll bullet punch me, and we'll see who gets the priority out of two priority moves meeting. Survives. Ooh, yikes. Dude, I haven't used my Focus Sash yet, though. So I actually don't know. I couldn't tell you. Does Focus Sash at work if... Uh, yeah, I have no idea. Just switch in Duraludon, and I think we'll be okay. Let's go for, let's go for Iron Head and not risk it. I don't know, honestly. I, I, I've never really... I can't remember if Focus Sash works if you're at full HP, like you healed, but it's not the first hit you're taking, you know? I, I don't remember. All right. Eats it up. Nice. All right. That was, that was sketchy, actually. That was sketchier than I thought it would be. Ooh. All right. Perfect. I am so glad I gave Gardevoir Protect. I feel like that was like 90% of the reason that you're alive. Or that I am alive. All right. What a romantic defeat. Well, I mean, what are you doing this afternoon? Sorry to break your heart. That's what I do, though. Onwards! Well, I guess after finding a League Club member, it is only appropriate that I heal up since I found the healing station anyway, so... Uh, I will welcome you back. I haven't fought anybody since that. I just happened to run across there, so I will continue looking for Pokemon battlers, and I will uh, I will cut out anything I feel is just blah. I believe she looks just like the other girl did from the League Club. I believe in my Pokemon. Do you? Are you League Club? There's no way, right? There's no way. You're League Club Cecilia of the League Club, dude. Talonflame and Mandibuzz, dude. Great. <laughs> this is just perfect. Another League Club battler. All right, so uh, definitely use Aqua Tail, and let's take out Talonflame. And Moonblast could actually... 
You know what? Let's just go for two attacks. Flare Blitz. You have to go on Gardevoir because, ooh, that's... There was physical attacks on Gardevoir, man, and you were damaged by the recoil. You guys are all using items over here on uh, your your league club, dude. Uh, toxic, please miss. Please miss. Yes! I mean, it doesn't matter that much that you missed that, but still. Nice! Oh, I'm just rocking it over here, dude. All right, so Mandibuzz is almost down to zero. I, I got fortunate there that I went back to the OG, these two, or I should say the uh, the original two duo that lead off my team. If I had kept Caesar in there, that would... Do you have leftovers as well? You do have leftovers. Look at you go. You guys and your items. Uh, two cannon. I love two cannon. Absolutely love two cannon. Two cannon, I don't remember too much about your move set though. I do know that I want to get the drop on Mandibuzz, and let's go protect on Raven. Here we go. Bait out that uh, that two cannon. I know your signature move. That's about all I remember really about you. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me! I cannot believe that Mandibuzz used fly. Okay. Okay. Toucanon used fly as well. Interesting. All right. Well, this is this is a conundrum I was not prepared for. Uh, if I had Reflect up, well, that, that Pokemon is gone, unfortunately. So you use fly to make sure that you use the best of your leftovers. So Dugong, do you outspeed? I don't know if you do or not, but let's attack Mandibuzz. In the meantime, I don't know, but let's switch into Typhon. I don't know who they're attacking. Hopefully, they both went for Gardevoir. Typhon, show yourself. Oh, that's shiny glory, man. Here it comes. Fly. Hits Dugong. Okay. Well, at least... Yep, you're back. And down you go. Now, we just have to worry about Toucanon. Toucanon, I really hope you went for my Gardevoir. You did go for my Gardevoir. Nice. All right. So let's go Aqua Tail on Toucanon. And let's go Draco Meteor on Toucanon. Just unleash hell. Here we go. Nice. I should have used Aqua Jet on uh, Dugong, actually. There's my life orb for you. And look at you go. Okay. I guess, uh, I guess Aqua Tail was the better move because I didn't know you had a berry. All right. Outspeed and kill him. Take him out. Stab. Yes. There we go. I was going to say, plus you have Mystic Water. There's no way he was going to get another attack off. League Club member Cecilia has been defeated. Dude, these League Clubs... I feel like the first League Club member I found was the worst. These two have been decent. What does she say after I beat her? Pokemon are mysterious as anything, aren't they? Even though they can't speak our language, they always seem to know what we're thinking. Uh, yeah, they're thinking, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. And I'm like, I will do the best I can to make sure you live. Onwards. All right, I do have to stop and just admit that that is amazing. I, dude, I love the Electro Webs just hanging around. What did I run into? Oh, this guy is standing in the middle of an Electros that's going to Terrastalize and a Galvantula. I just want, I feel like he looks like a dork, but he's going to be brutal. I just want to enjoy school. I want to have fun in my classes and in my club after classes too. Uh, what club would that be by chance? I'm just curious. What club? Subasa of the League Club, of course. Skarmory and Rampardos. Dude, this guy. This guy. Holy crap. All right. Um... I think I'm actually in a decent position with the Pokemon that I have out. Because Magmar, it may be weak to Rampardos, but he has a Focus Sash that I put on him from Cosmic Void. Hit him with a Flamethrower, and hopefully he does not have the ability Sturdy. If he has the move Sturdy, I might be... In, or uh, the ability Sturdy. I don't even know what its other ability is that's available to it. Let's just try to attack. Hit him. And I didn't take him down far enough anyways, but he had a Citrus Berry. And Rampardos, I have to assume I'm going to outspeed you. Spikes, dude. All right. Well, don't let him set up the double spikes. I'm not letting you set up double spikes on my team. Please use Iron Head and hit him hard. Oh, that was hard. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, heck yeah, dude. That was a hell of a hit. All right, Electivire. All right, Electivire comes out. 
Um. Hmm, now what do I do? Flamethrower on Skarmory and then Caesar. What what do I do with you? Let's switch to Dugong with you, actually. And I know it's weird. I'm trying to test something out. I want to bait out the move with a Pokemon, and I want to bait that electric move, so I want to see if is I want to see if Electivire's got a fire move. If he does, he'll attack Dugong right now. It won't do much. And then he'll attack Dugong again with, like, Thunder Bolt, Thunder Wave. I mean, Thunder. He had Fire Punch, dude. I predicted you because I knew you were going to have that. Scyther? Something's up with that Scyther. Other than it kind of looks like it might be a Shiny, but it didn't shine, so... Oh, no. Shinies aren't darker or lighter. I'm sorry. Um, go with Flamethrower. Can't afford for you to miss. And then you're going to go for an Electric Attack. And I'm going to put out someone who is ground type. Of course, I don't have someone who's ground type. So let's switch into Typhon. All right. I know I'm doing a lot of swip, switch, sw switching out and swapping Pokemon to just hold them off. But, I mean, bait after bait after bait. Typhon, you've ate up a lot already. And I was hurt by the spikes. But Trail Blaze doesn't hurt much. But the question is, what attack did you go for? Scyther is fast, man. He's fast. And he doesn't die. Super Cell Slam. Ooh, holds it off. Let's go for... Man, I wish I had a priority move right now. Let's go for a healing item. Max Potion on Typhon. Instead of switching. There we go. Healing item used. And I really need to use a uh, Aerial Ace. Nice. Okay. Flamethrower takes him out. And now let's see what else you have. You had Fire Punch is probably coming out, right? But I'm a physically defensive beast. So your Fire Punch couldn't possibly kill me. Yeah, there we go. All right. Well, nice burn. Um, technically, you know what? I have two. So with yeah i think a full restore is in order i know i have one healing item left so let's go let's go low kick Nah, just go for a stab flamethrower on him and then for you we're gonna go with the full restore this is the final healing item of the battle but that's okay because i'm uh, i'm allotted that i allotted myself two healing items regardless of who the trainer is battles involving trainers get two elite four or elite trainers get three and regular Pokemon, I get one. Supercell Slam, hold it off. Focus, Sash, bam. All right, so now I have to, let's see. Let's attack him, Flamethrower and Draco Meteor. I have to outspeed, have to outspeed, come on. Oh, don't have to outspeed, crit. I am allotting myself after all these freaking League Trainers to go back and heal, by the way. I probably would have lost somebody if I didn't have that. Well, that sure was fun. I was so close there. That was dangerous. Actually, where is... I don't even know where I'm at. How am I supposed to get back and heal? I guess I don't heal. I, I Onwards we go. The Canyon Biome. All right. Well, here's another trainer. I climbed out of the hole. and uh, You know the Canyon Biome? Oh, you're new to the Canyon Biome. Don't worry. I'll show you the ropes. I'm pretty sure I'm only going to battle a couple more people. Like, Harry here is... There's no way he's going to be an exciting battle. Oh, Fracture and Graveler. Uh, maybe I was wrong. Especially because that Graveler, I have to switch out. So, eh, maybe maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was wrong, man. This is... Uh, let's take out the Dragon and swap out to... Uh, Duraludon? Yeah, let's go to Duraludon. I'm going to have to make some major adjustments to this team before... I battle the Elite Four. I swear, there's just no way. This team has no defense, dude. I feel so unconfident every time I switch into anybody. Fracture goes down in one shot. You guys don't use items or anything, so like, I have to, I have to believe that there's nothing exciting that's going to happen here. But uh, there was, uh, ooh, that was, uh, that was a good hit. There is a game, a Prince of Persia game coming out. I'm sure several people watching this have seen it. I'm it, so they released a few more. Uh, videos of it Nintendo did and it looks great dude Prince of Persia I haven't played a Prince of Persia game in a very long time I'm excited for it 
Ooh, sturdy. Yeah, look at that. All right, outspeed with Duraladon. Yep, Draco Meteor. Goodbye. So if I find any more exciting battles, then I'll put those in the video. Otherwise, I think I'll just go straight to the Elite Four. All right, Harry. Harry the student, what school do you go to out of curiosity? You have uh, any special talents on your roster? If I'm going to take you, I'm not going to do it when my lead Pokemon is low on health. I'm tired of surviving, man. These freaking League Club members. I'll show you all kinds of Pokemon that I've found and caught here in the Terrarium. I'm sure you will. Dude, I, I'm, I'm trying to do survival. You were challenged by Dana of the League Club. These freaking... She's got a, a demonic possessed smile. These freaking League Club members, man. I can't, I can't go in with weak Pokemon. Chinchino and Whimsicott. I feel a Cotton Guard setup going on here. Possibly a Tailwind Cotton Guard. Is that what your plan is? Alright, so with four Pokemon, I outlevel her, but I'm guessing I'm guessing these Pokemon are not only using items, I'm thinking that they might have a good EV spread. So let's go Charm on the Chinchino and uh, not Aqua Tail, Ice Beam on Whimsicott. Let's see what we got. Energy Ball, hold that off. Hold that off. Oh, 63 health, don't attack him. Special Defense is down, Chinchino. Tail Slap, a one. A two. It's so sassy. A three? I'm so glad I charmed you now. Four. Oh, do you have that stupid skill ability where you always hit fives? You do, don't you? Yeah, you, you've, you've totally got that ability. All right, charm. At least I lower your attack in those regards. All right, get the freeze. Get the freeze. You owe me this. Or one-shot it. I don't care. Free oh, okay. That did a lot less than I wish it would. Um... All right, so we're getting there. We're getting there. One of them is Charmed, so it's low, but I'm also going to have to use a healing item on Gardevoir. No, we're not going to use a healing item. We're going to... Look, there's a... There's a... <laughs> right back there. Uh, uh, let's go... Oh, I don't know if I want to protect. Use protect, because if I just... If I protect, I'm not doing anything. I'm just baiting it out. And then if I switch... Um... Duraludon I could switch into. But then you might have fairy moves. So I need to take you out before I do anything. But I can't take anything from Chinchino. Not right now. So I'm going to have to switch and it's going to have to be into somebody who can take it. So you're going to be weak. Let's go into Caesar and see if I can possibly take this thing out with a bullet punch. If I can do some damage, if I can just eat one attack from a bullet, or I can get that bullet punch. Hopefully, uh, what are the chances you two would both go for Gardevoir? That'd be amazing. Nope, no chance in the world, because you're going to try and finish Dugong off. All right, go for Gardevoir. Go for Gard... Rock Blast! Ow, well, that's one. Two, you've got that ability, don't you? Three, yeah, you're going to... I see your strategy. Four. I, if I... What a waste. What a waste, man. I wasted it. Ah, oh, I wasted it. All right, so Gardevoir, at least you heal up. I get... No, it doesn't matter. Honestly, they can take you out either at any moment. All right, so at least Chinchino's low. Let's... Let's go Max Potion. This is the one of two healing items I'm allowed. And let's go Bullet Punch. Yeah, let's go bullet punch. No, because it's... Uh, I'm not going to be able to take a Whimsicott out with a bullet punch. Go for bullet punch. They're going to target Caesar, I bet. Uh, the only thing... The only chance I've got here is if, if Whimsicott goes for Gardevoir. It does do enough damage. Okay. I was going to say, I know it's super effective. Well, it's from a Caesar, honestly. I don't know why I doubted that. I thought... I thought... It didn't even use Cotton Guard. I, I, I was just assuming it's going to be so defensive that it's not going to kill. And it's a bullet punch. It's weak. But honestly, that was great. All right. So now what do I want to do is I think I want to charm that thing right there. That stupid Whimsicott. So Haxorus. Haxorus comes out. All right. I think this is good. Whimsicott is gone. Chinchino, you're pretty weak here. I think we Moonblast the Haxorus and we switch into... But if he uses a Dragon move, I die. Hmm. Haxorus, how fast are you? 
I say, you know what? Use that second healing item. Let's go heal up Caesar. Both healing items are out. They are done. I have no more healing. Moonblast on Haxorus. Hopefully, I'm not speeding him. Let's go. Rock Blast. Good, good. You're not doing much. In fact, I, I would almost want to get one more charm off of you, but uh, that thing scares me. A Draco Meteor from a Haxorus on Caesar could be a problem. But he's probably got Flamethrower is my concern. So, Flamethrower and you die. But I'm going to hit him with a Moonblast. And I'm going to outspeed him and kill him, and he's not going to use Flamethrower. Goodbye. If you had a Focus Sash... You would probably flamethrower. <laughs> you would probably flamethrower my Caesar and murder me instantly. Electros. All right. So Electros is definitely gonna have fire moves. Um, thousand percent, he's gonna use a fire move. So, let's go. If you're just using Rock Blast on you, then let's go another Moon Blast on Electros, and I could use a Bullet Punch, but no, that's not gonna do anything. Um, hmm. We switch because, you know what? Yeah, we switch. We switch. Let's do this. I'm going to switch out, and as long as they don't attack Gardevoir, because Electros is special. Gardevoir's special defense, solid. It's Chinchino I'm worried about. Chinchino attacks Gardevoir, I have a problem. There goes the tail slap. This is what I was worried about. Two, no crits. No crits. No crits. You know that ability says that you don't have to hit five every time. You're just getting very, very lucky. That ability does help, but it's not a perfect, like, you're getting five hits every single time. I feel like you're cheating. Moonblast. All right, that's half. Drain Punch. Good. Whoa, that was, uh, oh, that's right. Dang it. Dude, I hate when I forget what type I am. <laughs> Steel's weak to fighting. All right. Uh, so, do they both go that, okay. You know what? I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Um... What are you doing? You leftovers as well? All right. Um, I say let's go Moonblast on the Electros. We need to try and take this thing out. So if he's using Drain Punches, I can't. If you use Rock Blast, you're dead. Drain Punch on the Steel type, same thing. We got issues. So, man, I wish you had uh, Protect. I wish you. I really wish you had Protect right now. I have no healing items, so that's not an option. Uh, what is your, what is your steel? I was going to say your terror type. I got to check that. So, Drain Punch. Who dies? I don't want to lose the shiny. Who dies? <laughs> this is the position I am in, and I hate it. Who dies? Um, you're going to tail slap Gardevoir. What did Electros... Do you think... Electros is fast, right? Yeah, Electros is going to outspeed. And he's going to use Drain Punch and he's going to murder Typhon. So... What is my speed? Ah, uh, this sucks. 163. I'm just barely slower than that. All right, I have to... So, you know what? If Chinchino attacks, I lose Magmar. This is where it all comes down to. I'm going to switch out. If Chinchino attacks Magmar, then I'm going to die, especially if he uses Rock Blast. Tail Slap. Miss, miss, miss. Thank you. Finally, I get some luck on my side. Crit. I would love a crit, but that's not going to happen. Drain Punch. Good. Does way more than I wanted it to with those leftovers. I've really got a problem here. All right. Well, I'm going to just have to hope that I can take this thing out. Flame Body burns you. That's good. I mean, at least your physical attack is halved. Actually, with your physical attack halved, that might be the savior I need. Chinchino goes for Rock Blast on Magmar. 1,000% that's happening. And then here goes your leftover. So I'm going to take Electros out now. So let's... Uh, let's take Electros out. At least that puts it a two-on-one. I'm still concerned. So Moon Blast. All right, so you're going you're gonna to eat a Rock Blast for sure. Rock Blast on you would be neutral. Hmm. If you use Drain Punch, let's swap in. I, I feel like let's swap into the Steel type. Caesar, please hold this off. Hold this off. If he goes for Drain Punch, there goes the Rock Blast. One, two. Was I outspeeding? Yeah, I think I'm outspeeding Electros. So Electros is going to die, right? Electros dies. Right now, Electros dies. Yes, Electros dies. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> These league trainers. 
Oh my god, okay. Alright, so Chinchino does actually outspeed me right now. And I need to predict what he's going to do with that Chinchino. So Moonblast on the Chinchino, and I guess we go for Bullet Punch, but then what, a, what could you have? I mean, you are a physical attacker attacking a Steel type. You had Tail Slap and Rock Blast. What are your other two moves? I could switch and try to predict that move. Uh, you have full HP. You have full HP. I say we no because you know what? No, because if I switch in, you're still you're still faster. What has to happen here is we have to take you out. Bullet punch. And you have to eat whatever this is coming. Please miss. Yeah, you missed and you didn't even go. You went for someone who was going to eat it anyway. As, as long as you didn't crit, I win. Oh, my God. These freaking league trainers, man. Look what you did to my team. I was over your level. I, you're definitely EV trained. I saw all those items you've got. Thanks for showing me your Pokemon too. Dude, that stupid Chinchino. That thing, I'm so glad. If I didn't charm that thing, do you have any idea how bad it would be if I didn't charm that thing at the start of the battle? This is why I do that. Because if, if it were a human, they would have swapped out. But you don't do that. You don't swap. Oh my god, dude. Alright, well, onwards I go. Well, here we are. I mean, it was right up the cliff there. So, honestly, I guess I have I have paid my dues, man. I have fought enough elite trainers. I'm done. I'm healing. Where's your healing station? Um, the person that tells me how many Pokemon or how many battles I have completed, I didn't think about this. They might actually be grading me on the battles throughout the entire dome, not necessarily per area. I don't know if they're making that distinction or not, so... In the meantime, I guess, uh, let me prep up the team really quickly, and then and then it's elite trial time. Uh, you know what? I'm getting some coffee. I'm exhausted now. I'm getting some coffee. You, you've done enough damage to me, Biome. Talk to me for an elite trial. All right. Coffee's poured, and I'm ready to go. Um, I, I think they're going to use ground types, but I'm not even sure, honestly. I see all these Magnemite around, and I'm like, maybe electric or steel. Um, welcome. Actually, you know what? You, you look at the meta or the Matang back there. I bet it is. I saw Belda and Matang. It's steel, isn't it? Welcome to the Canyon Plaza. We're the team that supports Amorous of the Elite Four. And you're Nito Marquis, right? One of the BB League challengers. That's me. You'll need over 50 BP. I honestly, I think I've gotten all my BP from just the fact that I've traveled. Every, every, it's like, oh, you traveled 50 meters. Here, have some BP. Thank you very much. Duly received and noted. Now, here she comes, our very own Amaris. Need a marquee, yes? Amaris. You definitely have screws in your head. Literally, you're a steel type trainer, aren't you? As you see, I'm present and ready for your trial. A change of location is required. Come. Now, I may talk scientific, but I don't talk like that. No one does. Only you do, because you're a character in a video game, Amaris. You're, yeah, you're flying steel. I can see it. You're, you're flying steel. You have modeled your entire being over Skarmory. The decision to allow you to take on the League was irregular, an exception among exceptions. I was against it, as you know, but the Academy allowed it, and their ruling is absolute. I mean, technically, the Academy didn't allow it. It was just a bunch of students. Therefore, well, okay, I did register, though. Therefore, I will carry out my duty as a member of the Elite Four as flawlessly as I always do. Yeah, you make the actual Elite Four look wimp. <laughs> the Elite Trial I devise starts right here. I call it my Flying Time Trial. You will need to fly around the skies of the Terrarium while riding a Pokemon. That's pretty sweet. Reach the goal within the prescribed time, and you will pass the trial. We're going uh, uh, Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire on this one. Fly through the Magnemite rings, and extra time will be added to the countdown. I recommend you go through as many rings as possible as you fly towards the goal. I would imagine i got to battle somebody, but why? Uh, it's a time trial. Who am I going to battle? Can, oh, are we going to do sky battles? Are, we gonna, are you bringing back sky battles? Is that what's going on here? Can you verify that you are ready and willing to... Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Uh, we're going to find out the hard way, I guess. So let's dive in. Understood. I assume you have a Pokemon to ride on? Uh... Can I fly on Miraidon? Good. I was going to say, I've got no one else. So Miraidon can't really fly, but he can float. Ah, good. With some effort, this Pokemon should be capable of a flight. Your name is Agaius, yes? Agaius? What the heck? This is for you to eat. It's Miraidon. 
Chomp, chomp, chomp. I don't have a nickname for this Pokemon. That was a mistake in the... I mean, right on is brimming with... That had to have been a mistake, right? Uh, what your Agaius just uh, consumed, unless she's just hearing his name and then she screwed up, is a supplement that enhances the Pokemon's flight capabilities. I was pre I prepared it using leaves of a mysterious plant that was found growing in the terrarium. Your Agaius will be able to soar through the skies as it pleases, but only for the duration of the trial. I'm very confused, but all right, I can fly now. Passing through extra time. Okay, so uh, I played Jack and Daxter. I'm, I'm, I know how to do this. Um, you will have all you need to begin your challenge. I wish you luck. All right. I may be referencing a PlayStation game, but you know what? That PlayStation controller, its roots are my foundation. Take on the flying time trial. All right, let's do it. And three, two, one. Here we go. Whoa. Okay, Miradon, you uh you're not really good at this, are you? You're uh you're you're yeah, you're a pretty terrible flyer, honestly. This is uh, inverted controls are not a thing here. Why do I feel like I feel like the controls should be inverted, but they're not. Oh, that was that was dangerous. I'm so used to inverted controls over the years that I didn't expect Nintendo to to not use inverted controls. It's really awkward. Plus me right on, you're just very awkward. Whoa. All good? All good. Whereas I was gonna say, I, it, it would be nice to see the next one. Good thing I got a bunch of extra time because where's the finish line? Okay, that was simple. No battles? No nothing? I just... That's it? Okay, well... Since I know your steel type, I'm going to definitely need some time to think about this. I also need some time to charge my controller because I noticed it said low. I don't know if I... I don't know when it said low. If that's going to be something you see on the screen in the recording. I don't know when it said that, but I'm like, oh crap, I need to do that really quickly. That was an impressive display of punctua uh, punctuality. Actually, I could just use the Joy-Cons. I must admit, it was satisfying to watch you fly. Congratulations, you have cleared my elite trial. Now, a change of location is required once again. Come. All right. I dig the purple. This is my favorite battling area. You've earned the right to face me in battle. No battles or anything, huh? Do you wish to begin? Not at the moment. I need to I need to reconstruct my team. You you refuse. Very well. I need to construct my team around somebody who is steel type. Not, I thought maybe you'd be ground type. I mean, I'm sure you're going to have ground type moves, but um, yeah, I need to construct my team. So for that matter, I got to charge up really quickly. All right. Well, here goes nothing. Amaris, I'm ready. Oh boy. Shall we move ahead with our battle? Yes, we shall. <laughs> it's every time understood. Let's assume our battle positions. Every time I do this, I swear now I'm going to feel like I'm going to die. And that's what everybody keeps telling me, too. <laughs> there, is, there is one thing I wanted to ask you. Anime glasses. It concerns Kieran. What is he to you? Uh, he's my pal. He's, uh, he's not good enough to be a rival. Although now in this place, yeah, he probably, he's probably brutal. So you consider him a friend. I see. For my part, Kieran is the younger brother of my dear friend Carmine. Something in him has changed. He's not his usual self. I find this deeply concerning. If possible, I want to be the one to help him. That being the case, I cannot afford to lose. I'm so nervous I'm hitting the button. Our, our battle starts now. She checked her watch. She's like, the ambulance is going to be here in five minutes. And I check my watch twice because I'm efficient like that. Always double tap. Amaris, here we go. Skarmory and Doug Trio. Dude, I hate that Doug Trio. I absolutely hate that Doug Trio. Get ready, Skarmory. You too, Doug Trio. We're finishing this battle right on time for the ambulance. Okay. I see what you're going to do. You're going to do exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go protect, and then I'm going Lava Plume, and you are going to do the same thing. You're going Earthquake, and you're using the fastest Pokemon in the game, non-legendary. So, Magmar, take this thing out in one shot. She uses Earthquake? What? You think I wasn't prepared? 
I got a fire type out here. You think I didn't come prepared? Go ahead. Here it goes. Bam! Focus Sash comes out. Dude, you even crit just to trigger that Focus Sash. All right. Magmar, knock him out in one shot. Knock him out in one shot. Two for one. Here we go. Kill them both. Here it goes. Double kill. Let's go. Now. Oh, no. That was so close. An unfavorable type matchup. You caught me off guard. Now my glasses have fogged up. Oh, dude, who got the burn? You're toast, man. You're done. Stealth Rock. Okay, so I get I stay of execution. I get to live. Dude, Magmar. Come on, kill him. Kill him. Yeah. Down he goes, Doug Trio. That's one. That's one, Amaris. One down. Magmar, you get to live another one. I was ooh, Empoleon. Magmar. I hate to do this. I I, do I want to do this? Do I want to protect or reflect? Let's go reflect. Hit him with a thunder punch. Magmar, I thought, honestly, there we go. Paralyze, paralyze, paralyze. I, I honestly need the, I need the safe switch. Magmar with one HP, I'm afraid it's just going to have to be this way. I <laughs> body pressed me. Flame body. Nice. That's good, too, because you just cut his attack in half. Well, actually, it doesn't make any difference. Body press uses your defense anyway, so you know what? That's nice. No, not nice. He hit me. Dang it. Oh, God, that was so close. I, I thought for just a second that he missed. Dude, so body press uses your defense, so I'm glad I got that reflect up. Loki Kirja, or do I want to go with my... I think Loki Kirja is the way we go. Caesar, you're coming out. And you're slow, but I feel like I need that fighting move. I need to take this Empoleon out now. So let's... Uh, do I want to heal here? Or do I want to protect? I think we go protect on this. And then let's go... I yeah. Do I want to combat? Close combat or brick break? Or do I heal up? I could use the full restore now. I think that's... You know what? Go for close combat. Let's just take this thing out. I need that Empoleon out of here. He has... He has a strange typing, and he can have special moves. Um, dual wing beat. See? Not only did he miss, but we've got a physical attacker over there. I don't need hydro pumps. I don't need water spouts. Take him out, and I'll switch out. I know my defense is down, and I know my special defense is down. I'm happy to switch out. I just want to seek blood on that Empoleon. Heck yes, dude. And you're burned, so unless you're using... Uh, dual wing beat is affected by the... Ooh, Runiclus. What? Runiclus. All right. Um, that was a very unexpected move. Wow, what do I do here? Um, could just go for Moonblast on him. I, I, I don't think I want... Do I, do I take the Skarmory out? Terastalize? No, I don't want to give up my steel typing. Let's go for it. I really don't want to give up that steel type. Oh, for <laughs> it zoomed in on her face. I'm like, what is she doing? I figure we hit Moonblast and X Scissor. Oh, no, no. Whirlwind? You're going to use Whirlwind? What the heck? I can't say I saw that happening. Oh, I don't get to pick who's coming out. If Magmar, or not Magmar, I'm sorry, not with Magmar. Um, if anybody comes out who is, yeah, they're getting their hits. Anybody who's low, that I have to switch out. Um, if Mai is who I was going to say comes out. Mai, actually, you know what? I, I was worried. I didn't want Excadrill coming out. I wanted anybody except Excadrill. To be fair, I can use Rapid Spin now. So, so this works out great, actually. Um, let's go... I uh, gotta be a little careful here, though. Um, yeah, let's let's hit that rapid spin on Runaclus. Will it will it kill? Will it kill though? You're gonna be the fast one. No, he uses protect. What? Are, we are on the same wavelength here. What the heck? All right. So hopefully we just trade. Don't go after my my. Whatever you do. Uh, yeah, he used to protect. It doesn't clear the... F I wish it cleared the field even, even though she used protect. 
Skarmory didn't go for Excadrill. She, she goes for uh, for my Raven here. Okay, Gardevoir comes back. Um, Duraludon. Yes! <laughs> I was like, I need another Steel type. Go, Duraludon. Yes! All right, so I have an idea here. Um, I'm going to set up my Duraludon. I think that's what I'm going to do. The problem is that Skarmory's got about three more turns and he's gone so if i start setting up now which i'm going to just risk it and go for it take him out i know it's i oh yo that was close thank you. <laughs> i don't know if that ref, yeah that reflect is that reflect is doing work unfortunately that didn't take out the freaking runicus so the reflect is probably the only thing that's keeping me alive against skarmory because even though she's using her defense stat to hurt me it, it at the end uh, trick room Wow, dude, you used a freaking trick room. So, Excadrill is definitely... Sorry, I had to clear my throat. Um, you know what, Go for uh, going for Iron Defense. I think we just take out the Runaclus. The question is, does she set up more spikes? I I probably should have had a sip of this coffee before I did this because I feel like my throat's dry. Hopefully that doesn't come across the audio. All right, so you're four stages up. If she whirlwinds, I, I, that's gone. Stealth Rock. She's committed to Stealth Rock. The good news is I can clear it and take out Skarmory right now, and that won't be a problem at all. So I'm going to use Rapid Spin. Who's coming out? Caesar. You've got your own Caesar. Okay. Um, I don't know if I should be too afraid with Excadrill, but Caesar could have grass moves. Do I go for the attack and just do any damage I can? I think I'm going to do that and going to rapid spin on Skarmory here and take out... Oh, my God. He, well, it's fine. He's, he's not going to get more rocks up because he's, there's no way he's going to... No, uh, Rocky Helmet? Oh no, don't don't attack. If you attack him, I might just lose my Excadrill. Trailblaze, I'm dead. <laughs> he had Trailblaze. I was even thinking about putting Trailblaze onto my Caesar when I was going through TMs. What did you even have? You had Whirlwind. All right. Well, my setup is gone. Um, but the good news is, this is a positive. I may not be able to select one of them, but at least I can have a fresh team. Fresh swaps. Gardevoir. Good. I'm happy Gardevoir came out. I was probably going to go into Gardevoir anyway. So you're burned. You're dead. Now she's going into her fifth Pokemon, right? Let me see. How many Pokemon did she have? Let's go. Uh, do I want to go... Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I, I throw one of these steel types out. Maybe Dugong? Maybe I throw Dugong? No, I, I, I think we go back into Caesar here, but I'm worried. You know what? Throw, throw Dugong out there. Ouroboros, you're coming out. I am, I am just worried right now. Metagross! Oh, now I, I screwed up. I should have thrown Caesar out there. Why was I saving Caesar? All right. Um, set up a Reflect. And Dugong... Let's... Oh, is she going to terrestrialize that thing? She's going to terror type it. Hit him for whatever you can. Time is short. Let's wrap this battle up. Yep, here it goes. Steel type Metagross. That Meteor Mash that is coming for my face, it's going to kill somebody. Dugong is not very defensive. I am dead. <laughs> There's no way I am not dead right now. I've got a killer Meteor Mash coming for my face. Set up the Reflect. That might be the only thing that keeps me alive at this point. Do you think that Caesar has Bullet Punch? Pounce? Ooh, I was going to say Bullet Punch might be what I'm afraid of, but he has Pounce, too. That's kind of an oddball move. How much do I do? Oh, my God. I don't do nearly enough. Now the question is, the more health a Pokemon has left, the more it will suffer from this move. You've been warned. Oh, no, no. no. Is, he, is it heavy uh, or hard press? Oh, pop the pop the Pashu Berry or whatever the thing is. The... the uh, hold it off. Oh, Raven is alive. Yeah, it was a Baburi. Baburi Berry. Oh, dude, Raven, you're still alive. I'm not losing my Raven. 
I say we bait it out, protect. And do I go for Aqua Tail? Do I Terrastalize? Mm, I could switch to Caesar, but I don't want to switch in and take a ton of damage. Uh, if I switch in and I take a ton of damage, if I, I could try to go for the Freeze, but uh, your Terra type being Ice really sucks. If I switch into Caesar, I can't. I need to sacrifice somebody here. I, I don't want to sacrifice anybody. Um, I have to think, dude. I could try to go for the freeze, or I could just Aqua Tail Caesar, and that leaves that level 80 Metagross just hammering away at my team. But I also have Mystical Fire. If I have to, I could possibly take out Metagross. Or. I could hit Caesar or Metagross with Aqua Tail and just try to do some damage and hope that she goes after Raven. If she goes after Raven and I use that Protect, uh, if I go for the Freeze, I could try it on Caesar. I say we get Aqua Tail Metagross. I, I say we do this. Please go for Raven. Both of you attack my Gardevoir. They have no reason. Bullet Punch, he's got it. Or she's got it. She's got bullet punch just like mine. Attack Gardevoir. Metagross, you're at... Uh, I wish you were at least a half. Brick break on. Yeah, you got baited. Yes. All right. Gardevoir, I really don't want to lose you. If I switch... Oh, if, if I take a brick break with... Oh, my God. If I take a brick break with these steel types, man. Oh, I'm going to die. Raven, we're... Uh, what are we going to do? I am not losing. If I if I heal up, maybe... If I switch to either of these two, dude... Uh, Typhon... Uh, Typhon can't take it. A Brick Break? Besides that, his attack is like... You know what? Do I dare do it? Do I dare do it? Go for the Double Protect! I'm going for it. I don't care, man. Hit him. Double protect. Double protect. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I got it again. Yes. Guard of War, you keep pulling these double protects. Bait and bait and bait. Her AI is not going for Dugong yet. Oh. Oh, I thought, I thought for a second Metagross. Attack. Attack. Yes, dude. She's really not going for Dugong. Why is she? Why would you do that? If you expect that bullet punch to take out Gardevoir, I say, I say Caesar is going to be the switch. I think, or do I want to go to Duraludon or Duraludon? I need to see some defenses. We've got, all right, 190 and 198. To, uh, 192 and 215 HP. Uh, I say I'm going to eat this with Caesar. And let's use Aqua Tail. Metagross is already low enough. It's too late to switch targets at this point. All I need to do is tank it with Caesar. And then I have Aqua Jet and Bullet Punch. I have two priority moves. I will make sure that that thing does not attack me. Here comes Bullet Punch. Hold it off. Nice. Easy. Aqua Tail. God, I wish I would take you out. I have Mystic Water on you. Brick Break. And, oh, there goes the Reflect. There goes the Reflect, man. All right. Bullet Punch on Metagross. Aqua Jet. Same thing on Metagross. Kill this thing. Oh, no. I wish you went down, but this is why I did both. Oh, I wish you had died there. Metagross. You're done, and it is now a 2v1, dude. Oh, my God. That was crazy. Aerial Ace. No! You had Aerial Ace. Oh, Caesar. It's like every single one of these battles, it always comes down to one last kick in the you-know-what. Every single time I do this, it is one last little hurrah that you guys get to take out one more Pokemon. Gang up on this thing, man. I, uh, do I, no, you know what? Just go Draco Meteor. I was going to say I could go Flash Cannon. You know what? Aqua Tail beat down City. Let's kill this thing. I can't believe he had Aerial Ace on Caesar. Oh, and a crit just to make sure that you go down. So bad luck can also play a role in battles. That's good to know. Thank you.
Is that a snide way of just saying that you got unlucky and that's why you should have beat me? Uh, pounce and your speed's down. <laughs> your defense is down. Your speed is down. Hit him. Down you go. Oh, my God. Dude, I should have only lost two there, but I didn't think Caesar would have Aerial Ace. Had I have gone to Duraladon instead of Caesar, I might have actually walked away. I am not enough, I see. I might have walked away with only two down if I had gone to Duraladon. I think I might have made a mistake there. I didn't really think about that, though. I don't know. I knew that Caesar could have Aerial Ace. The strength of one's Pokemon reflects the strength of one's beliefs. Your desire to help Kieran is evidently greater than my own. No, 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 no. You care plenty. You're good. You're good to go. Trust me. He's just a punk. Need a marquee? You are truly a kind person. All right, then. Time for a photo. We must ensure your victory here is properly commemorated. So this is how it's going to go every time with the Elite Four. I'm just going to sit here... Lose I like the heart. I'm gonna sit here losing three every single time I do the elite four So I've got six more deaths coming <laughs> This is horrible. I will give you this TM too. It contains a favorite move of mine Hard press she did use hard press with Metagross Target is crushed with an armor claw. Yep. The more HP the target has left god. I guess that was crazy it's up to you to help Kieran, Nita Marquis. I entrust my wish to you. I uh, that that Gardevoir ate it with 10 HP. Time for me to go. So long. Yo yo, champ in the making. So that's two elite members down already, huh? You sure are crushing it. Amorous leaves an impression, huh? It's wild seeing her and Carmine talk. You'd never guess it, but they click in a very weird way. It's pretty funny to watch. The thing about Amorous is, as rigid as she looks, she's got a sensitive streak a mile wide. Remember that about her, okay? Even if it's hard to tell from the outside. Yeah, yeah. Hey, here's Kieran. Seems like things are going well with the BB League. Right, Nito Marquis? What's up, mighty champion? Scoping out the competition? I feel like Kieran talks like this. I was getting worried. I'd be so disappointed if Mito Marquis had gotten weaker. But you seem as strong as ever, thankfully. Mito Marquis, go all the way. Don't go losing. Can't show you how strong I've gotten if you don't even make it to me. He, he sounds like he talks like super edgy. <laughs> Someone's good and riled up. And he sounds like, anyway, you got places to be, right? I better not keep you. See ya. Good luck with the remaining Elite 2. Um, yeah, I just can't wait, dude. So that's that's how this is going to go, huh? You guys don't see it from behind the scenes, but I put a lot of, like, I was going through moves and deciding. I'm, I'm Sometimes I'm going out and getting ingredients, or at least I did one time. But, like, I am looking through all the moves I've got, what my natures are, what my abilities are, and kind of plotting out a strategy. And yeah, that strategy usually in, is involving, hey, not everyone's going to make it out alive. This is not Paldea anymore, man. Things are intense over here. So I'm using candies if I have to. I'm raising stats if I have to. I'm like, hey, I can't evolve Magmar, for instance. Not, not just because he's dead now, but because I have nobody to trade with. So I'm like, okay, well, we're going to have to boost him up and, and he's going to have to do the best he can. Look at this team. Ass to the curb, man. Cheeks overhead. But I lived. Humble and proud, I'm Nito Marquis. You guys take care. I'll see you in the next one.